Do you know what today is? Today is the day that most of you guys have been waiting for for a long time. Today is the day that we start to install a supercharger in my Jeep TJ. Just got everything right out back here. And I got the Jeep open. We're gonna start stripping her all down. One of the first things we gotta do for the supercharger install, crack open a motherfucking beer. After that, the next thing we're gonna work on is removing the air intake. I got a bank surround mirror that's gonna come off. You'll have to remove your factory. Then we're gonna start removing uh, the throttle linkage and then the throttle body. We're going to remove the plugins for the throttle body and all that and all your other lines. We're gonna start pulling that all out. We're gonna remove the belt. But let's get the air intake off first. Now that the air intake is off, to remove your throttle cable, just put a screwdriver in there and gently pry it off the ball. Remove the spring. We're going to start removing the electrical connections and then we're going to pull the throttle body out. Once the throttle body's out, it's a good time to plug the hole, prevent dirt and shit. I had a Powerade spacer in there. And then take your throttle cable, just kind of move it aside. Before we remove all these plugs, I'm going to have to get two MPT plugs and a whole bunch of vacuum caps. I'm pretty sure the kit was supposed to come with that stuff, but somehow um, I don't have it in my kit, so I'm going to have to go out and buy that. I'm not sure if, if I should be fucking pissed off or what the hell. Next up now, we're going to remove the belt and we're going to start putting the extra pulley bracket on which is going to go up here where the power steering is. Throttle body's off, it's a good time to clean the butterfly valve and everything else. Make sure it's clean because a little bit of dirt and carpet in there can prevent your vehicle from starting, giving it a hard start in this and that. So it's a good time to clean it up while you have it out. Next step is start removing the belts from the power steering pump to put this bracket on. And you can access those by turning the pulley till you see the bolt and you can take it out. This is one of the first encounters I had with the power steering bracket is that two of my bolts were too short and I needed a bolt that was the same length as this one. So now it's off to try to find one. We are back after picking up some parts. I had to pick up some vacuum plugs and I got some MPT quarter inch plugs inside the box I picked up. Plus I got some bolts which are M8 by 100. The next step is to remove your air intake temperature sensor. Remove this port here. We're going to put quarter inch plugs in them and remove your brake booster line. The next step is to bleed off the fuel pressure. There's many ways to do it. I just put a rag over the Schrader valve, then push it in with a small screwdriver to relieve the pressure. Then once that's off, we're ready to remove the line. I'm gonna pop this little clip off. Oh, there we go, that one's out. Now this one here, is most likely going to give us a fucking bath. Oh, fucker. And that's what I mean by give you a fucking bath. Fuck sakes. So I just pulled the old fuel line off right now. We're going to put the new one on, which has the extra line for the injector. But uh, we're going to keep this because you never know. I'm just feeding the other line down. I'm gonna plug that cocksucker in, which eclipse is good. Now I'm gonna zip tie it to the other ones. And then fill my top, just plug her until she snaps. And we're ready to go. The next step is to RTV both of these surfaces up. So we can get ready to put it on top of there. And then we can bolt this piece on. And then we're getting one step closer. We 
got this plate in and bolted down. I took my rag inside here and wiped off the excess RTV silicone. And now we're going to silicone all around the base here and then put this top piece on. Now that we got the plenum intake on, the next step is to fit the supercharger up, get it ready to mount and start bolting her down. Okay, today is Friday and it's a little bit windy out, but not too bad. It was insanely windy earlier. Just continuing on the supercharger build. Uh, just trying to get everything set up. I like working in conditions that are less than ideal because makes people who are OCD a little bit angry. So now we're gonna start fitting all this stuff up and uh, get ready to mount it. We need to start assembling the back piece of the supercharger now. So we need to RTV silicone the back of this and then we are going to mount that plate on just as so. Just as such, before we get too crazy, you gotta think about how you're gonna plan this next step. So my throttle body spacer right here is gonna have to go this way with the injector coming out the side. And then before we mount the throttle body, the map sensor has to come off and the map sensor is gonna be mounted up top here. Next step, if you have gaskets, use gaskets because otherwise we're gonna have to sandwich all this together and use black RTV silicone to make it all fit onto here. So basically this is going to go on like that and then that's going to go there and that's going to be bolted on there. So let me get this assembled and I'll show you. It's good to use gaskets for this section right here, your throttle body to the throttle cable adapter and then another gasket to your throttle body spacer because that way when you open up your butterfly valve you don't have silicone inside the hole there which could cause you issues so now the problem we got now is that we got the throttle body cable and uh, as you can see right here the bracket will not fit so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to cut this top ear off the one I'm showing you right here and then bolt it into place and we have to weld this together but first let's get this on because then we're going to know for sure how that bracket's going to sit. We need to throw this insert on first and then we can put this on. I'm not sure how this is going to go yet so let's just leave this loose for now. Let's just test fit this on the Jeep and see how it's going to look. There we are just kind of test fitted it on. Have a look at it and then see what we're going to have to do. I know I can't really see in the camera, there's too much fucking brightness. Oh, there we go, there's one, two, three. So there's three vacuum ports there, we need to seal off two of them and zip time shut. Actually, the third one is where we're going to connect the boost gauge and the other line. I did cut the bracket, but it's going to turn out it's not going to work out the way I want it to, so I need to go to the store and get some flat iron and some shorter bolts to mount this bracket up. We need to test fit it, weld it, and make sure it's gonna work properly.